good morning students in the earlier class we have known about the sources general formula of all kinds in this session we will discuss about the all kinds that to especially heat time and its preparation laboratory preparation and if any other preparations are there that also we will learn in this session now let us see heat time the general name of heat time is the common name of heat time is acetylene and the formula is c2h2 according to the general formula clh2n minus 2 the general formula of heat time is c2h2 and the sources of heat time are coal gas that is in the, in the faces of the coal gas we can get the heat time and we can get this heat time by the decomposition of certain organic compounds and by cracking of all cases by cracking of certain all cases in fractions we will get in this heat time gas and the structure of heat time here between carbon and carbon as it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon all kinds between a carbon and carbon it will be having a triple bond that's why we can see a three pairs of three pairs of uh, electrons between carbon and carbon and between carbon and hydrogen we will be having one pair of electrons so this is the electron dot formula of ethane and here we can see the structural formula c ch triple bond ch ch triple bond ch is the structural formula of ethane and the shape of ethane is linear shape and between carbon and hydrogen we will be having a single covalent bond single covalent bond will be available and between carbon and carbon we will be having a triple covalent bond this is about the structure and sources of ethane now we will discuss about the laboratory preparation of ethane so the reactants which are required for the laboratory preparation of ethane are water and calcium carbide the formula of calcium carbide is cac2 calcium and carbide and this is the uh, apparatus or the setting of the preparation of the ethane so here we will require the conical flask and a glass with a delivery tube and crystal funnel and stands and stand and here we want one test tube so first of all we have to take calcium carbide into this conical flask and we have to be very careful that it must not enter the air into the conical flask understand the precaution must be taken that air must not enter into this conical flask so and here in the crystal funnel we are sending water and as if we said that we must not allow the air to pass through that what happens if air passes it will becomes very explosive in order to avoid that we are placing one pinch cork pinch cork that is in order to uh, stop that entering of air through the crystal funnel we are placing here a pinch cork then afterwards here a delivery tube is placed a delivery tube is placed and here the cork rubber cork will be there so that we won't allow the air to get into that and wherever we are sending the water to the crystal funnel into this calcium cork pack it will becomes an exothermic reaction what is exothermic reaction that means it will be giving out heat energy it will produces the heat energy and through this the gas will be entered into this a delivery tube and when we are placing it into the water and here we have inverted the test tube and we can see the bubbles through the water and that bubbles is nothing but ethane that bubbles are which we are getting here and here that ethane will be collected and this is the way or the procedure how we are getting the ethane gas and the reaction is calcium carbide it takes reaction with water and it will be forming as coh taken twice that is calcium hydroxide and ethane gas will be formed out calcium hydroxide and ethane gas and the collection will be the collection of gas will be done by the downward displacement of water here the water will be displaced 
down and the air will be entering into this empty space. That's why it is pushing down the water. That's why we are calling it as downward displacement of water. And here, whatever the gas we got is whether the purified or not is a we can know it. That means as we are getting the reaction with the calcium carbide, it will give us some impurities. That impurities are nothing but phosphine gas, hydrogen sulfide, ammonia and arsenic. These are the impurities which are available, which can be found in that substance. But whenever we are passing the water to this calcium carbide, this calcium carbide contains all the impurities. But if we pass water through the calcium carbide, all the impurities can be removed except the phosphine. But how to remove that phosphine? That phosphine can be removed by sending the acidified calcium sulfate solution or acidified calcium dichromate solution. By passing the calcium, by passing the acidified copper sulfate, copper sulfate solution or acidified potassium dichromate solution we can remove that uh, phosphine gas understand and one more thing is we have to see that the air must not enter into that if the air enters it it will become the explosive otherwise you can send some oil into that in order to avoid the air okay and next one this is the laboratory preparation of ethane the another method is from 1 to dibromo ethane also we can prepare the ethane gas. 1 to dibromo ethane. So we have to take the 1 to dibromo ethane with alcoholic potassium hydroxide. Alcoholic potassium hydroxide at to on boiling air up to 200 degrees Celsius. If we are boiling this substance up to 200 degrees Celsius, it will use out the ethane gas, potassium, bromide, as well as water will be avoided out. This is the another method of preparation of ethane. Okay, these are the methods of preparation for the 